Hey everyone, so I've been promising a video on this mini for some time now. I posted some pictures of it on my blog and also shared it at the Scrap Beach. So here is the mini. Um, it's a vintage style mini. Um, it's entitled Live Love Laugh. Um, the Live is some grunge board um, alphas that I, um, I actually put some glossy accents and then some black glitter. And then there is um, a book plate uh, with love in the middle that I use my Dymo uh, machine to make. And then a vellum strip that says laugh. I also alcohol inked it. Um, there's some lace on the side here, some Prima um, that I distressed actually with some glimmer, um, glimmer mist. And um, a Tim Holtz uh, charm here that says believe in a trinket pin. And there's also some Prima bling on the side here. Um, it's bound with a uh, braided twine. I just took uh, three pieces of twine and braided them together and then I burnt the edges because I wanted um, a distressed look and then also it won't fray so um, that was kind of twofold. Um, and then on the for the paper I actually just used some uh, a, a novel page. I ripped it out and then distressed it with some um, Tim Holtz distress ink. Um, the first page here, um, there is a pocket here. Um, I used some Tim Holtz stamps, stamps um, with uh, some Distress ink and um, a Prima flower right here with a metal um, flower in the middle of that. Um, it opens up and folds out, so there's room for journaling. Uh, this is embossed a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, and room for a picture and that's just a swivel clasp keeping it closed. Um, there's some tags here and then on the next page a couple more tags and um, this frame here you can actually uh, stick a photo in there um, and then an old posted stamp um, and uh, Prima flower here. And I actually used a Velma's technique on the flower, which it didn't come out as good as everyone else's, but that's okay. I'm practicing. Um, the next page here, um, I have some Prima bling in which um, a photo can slide under here. And then I got some lace and some ribbon going on. Um, and then there's a pocket right here with a tag. And then right here actually um, is a book plate in which something can slide in or you can just leave. I'm just going to leave. Um, I'm probably just going to leave the love in there. A couple more Prima flowers. Um, and then I have a, um, an envelope pocket with some tags. And it says remember, and I clear emboss that. And then another tag on the side, with some gears and sprockets, some room for journaling. Um, and then on the back, just some room for a picture. And then here, I have to tell you guys, this page, I hated this page. <laughs> I kept covering it up and doing all kinds of different stuff and then now it's my favorite page. It does not always happen. Um, so there's a tag, pocket for a tag there and then it opens up and there's room for two pictures here and some journaling in the middle and then it closes back and it's it's um actually there's a magnet right here and I love her. I love her. Um, and then the next page here, um, there's a little booklet that opens up. Room for a picture and some journaling. Some more pictures. And then it goes right back in there. Which I just used um, some yarn, actually. Um, it's not in there very well, but I just used some yarn for that. And then over here, um, it's a tag. And that's a, a grunge rose. And I'm going to try to get a tutorial up for that you guys. I've been promising that to you. Um, and then this opens up and then there's another tag in the inside. Room for journaling. 
Um, and then there's a key. It says life and a feather. And then room for a photo right here. You can put a photo right under there. Okay. And then the back. Room for a photo and then this swivels out. I didn't want to waste the back. I thought that was cute. So that's my mini, you guys. Um, comment, rate, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. I know I'm not the best at explaining all the products I use and everything like that. So um, just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. Bye.